use it in the state of Florida. And I've, I've been through a whole lot, experienced a whole lot in prison. Every, every detail I won't tell you in full, but I, would, I will say this. It's, this this is not a game. This is this is not. I know a lot of y'all just just passing your brain and just a lot of things that's been seen, y'all seen, and a lot of things you're hearing just flying high, past y'all, past y'all. And some of you are focused, and some of you not. And that's just the reality of the atmosphere in, you know. But I was fighting for my life in prison. You know, I seen men raped in prison. I seen men killed. You know, I watched men got di died in prison. I watched men got their face cut open in prison. You know, I watch people lose limbs in prison, you know, and my, I watch men got light on fire in prison, okay. you know. So, so when I look at you, I'm no different from you, you know what I'm saying, because why? Why do I say that? Because all of us have an opportunity to make a choice in life. And the reality is this, even though you sitting here looking at me and saying, boy, that ain't never going to be me. I once sat where y'all was and was telling people, boy, that ain't never going to be me. That ain't never going to be me. I ain't never going to prison. But I was doing things worthy of going to prison. Let me tell you this, no, no criminal never planned on going to prison. I wasn't making plans on going to prison. I didn't wake up one morning and say, well, I'm going to prison today, let me go do this. No, because you never have it in your mind, I'm going to get caught. Because what I got arrested for, I did it many times without stopping, many times. Because we see the society of the day. And I, and I say it again, I'll go back and say it again, it all goes back to where? To the home. You can't be the government, you can't be the church, you can't be the police department. It all goes back to where? To the home. And we live in a society where you have a lot of matters coming up on lawful sex with young girls who are sexually active and boys. That's saying something about society, right? You know what? You know what? Because everything you all do, see, watch, you play, and listen to says what? Sex. Everything Beyonce. You know? And she bring it all up and y'all just enjoying it. Because it seems to be the okay thing. Sex sells. Sex sells what? Cologne? Sex sells Coca-Cola? Sex sells games? Sex sells everything. Even the tennis, the shirts, everything sex sells. All of those songs you're listening to, what? Lil Wayne and all those. And who else? The who? See, I didn't even know that one. Huh? All of them they were. You know, for sex. How to get the girl and all that. And who they could do to them and all that. And they believe it's okay. And then now pass this on to you, making you believe it's okay. That everybody doing it. And in school now, the environment in school says now what? A good girl is now obsolete. It's uncommon now to be good. It's now um, um, reverse. Back in the days when I was growing up, it was good to be good. But now, the saying is, it's good to be what? Bad. Well, today we are in the front of the Gerald Bartlett Police Complex where we just finished a reality tour. This is our second reality tour. Deshaun, I have Deshaun with me. Deshaun, what did you learn on the tour today? I learned that the things that could happen if if you do the, the wrong things and you have the right, make the right decision and the right choice, and I see some men inside there, they don't look too happy. And things just ain't looking good. And the, tell, the things that they told us, it just ain't bright and happy. So I rather obey and have, have God in my life and make the right decision and be free because they lock up in jail. All right, that's the show, and he is just coming out. We just finished wrapping up, and he just given uh, how he felt about the tour and what he experienced. Right. Now I have with me my boy, Sherwin. Sherwin, what you thought about the tour today? Well, I thought it was um, knowledgeable for us and what's not. It was scary when we gone on the cell block and what's not, but it was stuff that we need to know. Like, don't go through that life. Like, do, do the right choices and what's not. Don't go to that path. So what do you tell somebody who is now making bad choices and ending up in a place like that at your age? Do the right, do the right things in school. Don't, don't fall into bad friends. And what's not just do the right thing in life, that's all. So that's Sherwin. He is inspired now to make better choices on every decision that he has in life. Thank you, Sherwin. 
So right now, I have with me Mr. Von Spa. Von, what you thought about the tour today? It was all right. It was good, fun, interesting. What about it was good, fun, and interesting, like you said? Seeing the canine dogs hunt, track down the marijuana, and looking at the people on the cell block who made their mistakes in life. And listening and watching the program, paying attention. So what, 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 what was most interesting to you throughout this whole thing? Seeing the people who made mistakes in their life and wish they could turn back and they didn't do it. Okay. So what would that cause you to do as a, as a young man? Learn from that and not do what they do in life. So right now I have uh, Theo. Theo is here with me. He just uh, experienced this tour. Theo, what you thought about the tour? It was frightening. Maybe being on the cell block. That's all. What about the cell block? It was scary of them on and I was trying to rob you and stuff. I didn't. It was very scary. Okay, so what would that would cause you to do now? Make good choices. I wouldn't have to go inside now. All right. Was there anything else that stood out to you during this whole tour this week? Today. It's canine, the canine part that they put on. Yeah. Okay, so in response to this, what do you tell somebody else who are making who is making bad choices? I try to teach them to make the right choices. All right, that's Theo.